Kevin Collins, Director of Custom Installation Channel at Microsoft. We're here at Cedia uh, showing how Windows Media Center can be the hub of digital entertainment in your home. What we're highlighting here primarily at the show is Windows 7, which will ship on October 22nd. Now, when you want to do something that's digital entertainment in your house using a PC platform, what we typically like to recommend is having a dedicated box. Since we're at Cedia, we have uh, dedicated boxes that are specifically set up for the custom install channel where there's a lot of support and all the drivers work, but you don't have to go through one of these. If you're a do-it-yourself person, you can go and make your own box. We have two boxes here. Uh, one of the features that we have that Nivius is going to be announcing uh, come October 22nd with Windows 7 is support for 8 tuners and 10 extenders and we're demonstrating that in the back wall which we'll get to later. We're also doing a technology preview on this box with a new digital cable card that has one card that goes in the PC and enables four tuners. So what I want to do is just kind of give you an overview of Windows 7 first and then talk about some of the specific features that we're doing uh, in Windows 7 around digital cable card support. So with the setup that we have here, you can see that we have a PC. It's basically a headless PC. There's no monitor hooked up to it. You can do it that way, but what we like to demonstrate is the ability where this is a dedicated appliance so that you have 100% stability with it. It's only running Windows Media Center. You're not running a web browser or office or anything on there that might destabilize the, the machine. So that's how we like to do it. And then we show everything else through extenders. So we have a, a Windows Media Center machine. It could be hooked up in your home theater if you want to do Blu-ray support. But then everywhere else in the house that we have set up here, the living room, the kitchen, we're demonstrating going off Xbox 360. So in Xbox 360, there's a, uh, a Windows Media Center extender mode. You can push on the remote, and it will launch in the Media Center extender mode, and then it connects up to your Media Center box, and you will have the exact same interface off your PC off of this. Now, obviously, the nice things about having one of these is it's a consumer device, so, you know, anyone can go in with a remote. They don't have to worry about the screen going smaller or if you have guests over trying to figure something out. It's a standard remote. So this particular one is hooked up to this display here, and what I'm going to do is we're watching live HD television using digital cable card. Now, I'm just going to hit a button, and you'll see the overlay come up. So this is exactly like you'd see on Windows Media Center. If we're watching live TV, I can go over and I can look at the guide. The guide listings come down, and you can see everything. Now, the guide is free. You don't pay a monthly service charge to get the guide like you would with other DVRs. So while we're watching live TV, we can also be recording it. So as a, as a user of your machine, you can add a two terabyte hard drive or whatever you want to it, and that will be your DVR storage. And unlike other DVR solutions, you can go anywhere in the house, and you can watch that content. So for instance, if I'm watching this content right now, I can go in and I could hit pause on it and I could go to another uh, media center extender box and go and pick up right where I left off. So you have all these types of features and functionalities. So the DVR part of this would be in recorded TV. I can come into recorded TV and sort how I want to look at it by title uh, and you'll see that information go across and then I can go around and look at any of the content and play this just like I would on a normal uh, DVR, but it's all coming and being driven off my PC. So on here, I can, you know, obviously fast forward on it, skip forward, pause, rewind, do everything that I would normally do on a regular DVR. So that's only one part of the equation in all this is television. The other part is the ability to share all your digital content throughout the house. So while I'm watching this, if I wanted to, I could come up into music, I could go into the music library, and I'm going to see all of my music that I've uploaded and had for my CDs. Now again, all the cover art comes, there's no monthly charge for that, it automatically appears. I can go and uh, listen to some music, and while I'm listening to it, I can go in and I can say I want to play pictures, so if I wanted to have a party or something, I could come in and play pictures, and it will start going on the background and playing pictures that I have. Now these are my pictures that I put up onto this Windows Media Center machine. So this is just some of the things that you can get with there, all your digital content. Now something else that we want to talk about that's specific with Windows 7 is before if you wanted to get this digital cable card support, you had to purchase a PC that would be from one of the uh, PC OEMs that support this, so uh, Nivius, S1 Digital. In Windows 7, we're now opening up with agreements that we've had with Cable Labs so that any machine, if it runs a little tool, you can go and put your own 
uh, digital cable card on the back and you don't have to buy a specific machine. So you'd be able to build your own machine. Now to give you an instance of what we're doing here, on, on these two machines and what I have at my house, at my house I have uh, 13 tuners and six extenders in the house. I built my own machine because I've been in the process of beta testing this. So a, a simple idea of what type of machine you have, I just have a quad core CPU which is very typical that you can buy now at the store. I put 8 gig of RAM and I have a 2 terabyte external hard drive for all my recorded TV. That powers all of my house. In yeah, at Microsoft we've tested 8 tuners and 10 extenders running for weeks at a time you know, all this content. So this is one of those features. The other thing that's new in Windows 7 is before if you had digital cable card in there, you didn't have the ability to take any of that recorded TV content and put it onto anything else. So you couldn't take it and take it to your, um, to your cabin, or if you're like Adam, you couldn't take it and put it on to your DVD so your kids could watch it in the, uh, um, in the, in the, on their notebooks or when they're at a, a kid's place. In Windows 7, we now support the copy freely flag. So uh, content providers from the digital cable can have a lot of their content free, marked as copy freely, which allows you to move it to any place. The only restriction typically on that would be HBO, Cinemax, or Premium. But things like ESPN and um, uh, uh, Disney, uh, not Disney, but um, um, I'm losing uh, my thought on what it is. Some of the other contents like Discovery Channel, uh, Learning Channel, Food Network that are in HD, you'd be able to bring that content.